How did you get your idea or concept for your business? Well, that's a very good question. I grew up in a retail family. Yeah. But I really wanted, I thought, to be a doctor. Yeah. But my father wanted me to get into retailing with him. But he sold out when I was about 16 or 17, his business. Mm. So I, was, I could really choose whether I did medicine or go into retailing. But I had gone around stores with him and I'd been involved with him with labor problems with the unions and so on. So I chose to go to university to do, to do commerce. Yeah. And this is important. The very first day of the first lecture at university, yeah. this uh, professor said to all of us, about 30 young guys there, why have you come to take commerce? Yeah. And so we all put our hand up when he said, he said, I think I know you, you guys want to make money. Yeah. So everyone put their hand up. He said, I'm going to fail every one of you if in three years' time you still have that view that that's what commerce is about. Yep. And he spent three years talking about how, how commerce, if you're in commerce, you can influence governments, influence people, change lives. And if your sole aim is to make money, yeah. you will fail. Because if you, do, if you are going to really care for your customer, if you're a retailer like I am, not just care for her by having the right goods at the right price, but fighting issues because the average person is powerless against government and changing, changing lives. And he said, you, You've got the more you, you help society and get involved with changes in your country, yeah. as well as running your business, you'll be successful. But if your aim is to make money quickly, you'll lose money quickly. Now, wow. this guy, my first day at university, influenced my life dramatically. When I went to talk to my father, my father said, No, no, this is a long haired professor. He's talking absolute nonsense, and I'd, I'd like to take you out of university. Hmm. So I said, no, I like this guy, because he's saying that the more you care for your customer, if hmm. you're a doctor, the more you care for your patients. Yeah. If you're a lawyer, the more you care for your clients. Yeah. And not just do what you have to do, but go beyond it. And he made the point, and I never forgot that, if you want to make money quickly, then you won't help society. You'll just try and make money quickly. Yeah. But if you care for your society and the poverty and AIDS and all the things that worry, yeah. people will value you as well as you've got to make sure your goods are right and that you're selling. In other words, you, your business is, in my business is to sell groceries, and fruit and vegetables and fish and meat and so on. That's got to be right. Yeah. But if, that, if that's all I do, then my customers could jump around to all the other companies. Yeah. But if they see you caring for society, caring for South Africa's problems, getting involved, and um, that gave me a reason to be at the age of 17 to go into commerce. So that answers your first question. So um, the second question, just to put in perspective, um, how many employees do you have? 85. 85,000. 85,000. Wow. What mindset helped to make your success? <laughs> Good questions. I went through university, went through school. Yeah. My father ran, ran a business. And I used to go with him when I was in holiday time. I used to work in the business. Mm. So I grew up in a retail family. But then I, when my father sold out, mm. I thought maybe I should go into medicine, as I told you. Yeah. But I'd grown up with him, talking to him, and uh, discussing it at the dinner table every night. Yeah. So it was part of my being, but not the philosophy that I got from university. Wow. So it was my father's experience, plus this guy from university. It's amazing how one person can affect your life. 
when that guy said, I'm going to fail you in three years' time, <laughs> if you still think the only idea of business is to make money, yeah. you've got to have a philosophy of helping your consumer. Wow. So that's where I got it. What habits helped make your business successful? Firstly, being optimistic. So many people are negative about life, negative about South Africa. Yeah. I think the most important thing was that my wife and I decided when I left this other company with 89 stores mm. that did we want to emigrate because South Africa was going through a tough time with the nationalist apartheid mm. and a lot of our friends were emigrating and we waited up, made it on a balance sheet and decided to stay mm. and she was going to help on the educational side and I was going to try and build a business. So, terribly important to be optimistic because no, no one likes a negative person yeah. who's always looking for the, the problems and not saying, hey, things are coming right. So being optimistic is a very important point and having a clarity about what you want to do. Hmm. And not just saying, I want to be a businessman or a doctor or a dentist or a lawyer, yeah. but to look further and say, how can I be successful by just trying to make money or being broader? <laughs> yeah. Because if you want to just make as much money as possible, you'll pay your staff as little as possible. Yeah, for sure. Whereas we try and pay our staff as much as possible. Yeah. We, we're way ahead of checkers in our salaries and wages yeah. Yeah. because we believe in looking after our people. We could make more money if we cut their salaries. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is if you want to make money quickly as yeah. a businessman, yeah. you won't give to charity, you won't help society. You'll say, I want to make money and to help a society. Mm -hmm. That's the government's responsibility. <laughs> so I learned this philosophy by sort of trial and error yeah. from the university guy, from my friend in America, and fighting with my father who said, I'm talking nonsense. I said, businessmen are there just to maximize profit. And I said, business are there to make profit and care for society yeah. and play a role. And that, and that was really how I got my philosophy.